This now is going to be very quick. I'm going to just quickly felt this and speed it up. As I go, I have got printed out my 16 steps of felting. I'm going to have that right here and I'm going to read out each step as I go. So if you wanted to felt along with me, then just use, as before, use the pause function to stop at each stage along the way, complete each stage before you, you replay the playback um, because obviously it's going to take you a lot longer than, than the speed up, speeded up version. All right. Off we go. Number one, lay down a sheet of plastic with your fibres on top, which is what we've already done because we use the plastic as the template. Number two, wet down fibres with water. Step number three, add soap. Step number four, lay a sheet of plastic over the top. Step number five, use hands to rub over the plastic to soak the fibres and remove air. <laughs> Step number six, flip over the, with the reverse side now facing up. Step number seven, use hands to rub over the plastic again, soaking the fibres and removing the air. Step number eight, remove the plastic and leave aside to dry. Step number nine, add soap to the hands and pat down, rubbing directly now onto the fibres with your hands. Step number ten, turn edges inwards and continue rubbing. Step number 11, flip over with the front side now facing upwards. Step number 12, remove plastic and leave aside to dry. Step number 13, rub front side directly with hands. Add soap or more water if needed. Step number 14, bamboo mat. Roll up and use over the surface of the felt 25 rolls on each area. Don't forget the reverse. Step number 15. Place felt inside the rolled up bamboo mat and rock. Do 25 then rotate for a total of 100 rocks. Step number 16, rinse out all the soap in warm water under the tap, still rubbing whilst we're under the tap and then we'll come back and we'll finish by reshaping and rolling another hundred times. You might want to rinse off your bamboo mat at the same time and get rid of the soap.
Just a final note now on finishing your work. And it might be that you've finished the felting process and you are completely happy with how your piece has turned out. That's fine, that's great, I'm glad. However, there are a few options for, for further finishing off your work. I like to iron my felt and you can either do this while it's still damp, it probably is better when it's still damp, or you can wait till it's dry if you've not got time. I would spritz it with a little bit of water before you iron it or have the, um, the iron on maximum steam setting when you iron it. I would also iron it from reverse and not have it too hot to begin with. Keep an eye on it, if it's too hot and it's too dry you will burn the surface of the wool, especially when the silk mixed in too, and it will add like a brown tinge or a burnt look to, to the surface of the felt, so be careful. But I think you'll be quite happy with the, the ironed results. You can trim the felt, trim it down, straighten off any edges or corners if you want to. And also something else I do, because I felt quite thinly, I like to add, um, using Bonderweb, which um, is a glue for fabric on fabric, I use Bonderweb to glue cotton quilters cotton, 100% cotton batting to the reverse of my work and what that tends to do is it adds a bit of structure, it adds a bit of stability, it stops it being flimsy and moving around and it also helps me because I work, I work on my felt with stitch and with a felting needle afterwards. I like to felting needle around if you can see these blobs um, and these rings here. I like to felt around some of the elements and, and bring out the detail and make some of the edges a bit sharper. So I use a felting needle and I use embroidery and stitch into my work and the cotton batting just helps with that process. And then of course you can frame it. You can use the work for anything um, or, or you can frame it. They do look really beautiful, frames on the wall. Completely unique and natural process. And that's it for this tutorial, that's it from me today. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about felt making. This has been aimed at, at really a complete beginner, beginner to intermediate. But there's gonna be more tutorials to come, more tutorials available, so please keep in contact. Subscribe to my website, and I'll be giving you newsletter monthly updates of all new classes, new tutorials that are announced, or new kits that are available. Thanks again.